Have do you watch the news? Not often because okay. it's the um I like to have more neutral yeah. sources as opposed to like really sensationalized. Yeah. Um so I prefer to to try to read my news than necessarily watch it because a lot of the the news programs are you know spinning headlines and I'm yeah. like what's the main point here? I and I feel like this will kind of tie into the last little thing I wanted to talk about on this subject, but I was high as heck <laughs> on marijuana. Yeah. On marijuana. Um recently, like a couple weeks ago, and I was I was I was with my friends and they had the news on mm-hmm. and I shit you not. I had not sat down and viewed the news yeah. channel for like a, the full episode or whatever for like 30 minutes. Yeah. Like, like I, I've walked into someone's house before all the news is on, I looked at it for 10 seconds, walked away yeah. type thing. But in terms of being high and like, have you ever smoked marijuana? Yeah. Okay. Do you actively do it? Um, I, I do occasionally, but I prefer to like eat. Like, eat gummies as opposed to smoke. I've never been a big smoker. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I was... Yeah, so you know how you get, like, when you're high, you're, like, yeah. a little, like, hyper-aware. You're, like, yeah. more engaged with the environment. Like, what you're listening to sounds different. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, like, you're high. Yeah. I listened to the news for a solid 30 minutes, like, watching this shit with my friends. And I had not done this for 10 to 15 years. I just don't watch the news. I yeah. fucking hate it. And I'm listening to the news and I'm watching it and I'm just like, this is fucking horrible. Yeah. It's... <laughs> I was laughing and, like, the first thing that came on that was, like, some, like, slingshot serial shooter <laughs> that was, like, slinging, like, these lead balls at, like, these glass windows all across, like, some big city or some shit. And, like... I immediately started laughing like I was just high and I was I was just like <laughs> like I was just laughing so hard literally 10 seconds later after that like happens it's like like and then like boom like onto a mass shooting yeah and like there's this like lady sit like literally just like stoic like explaining what just happened and like this mass shooter walked into I think it was like a grocery store and like she said that she saw this guy shooting these people in the head yeah and that shit's fucked up but like the point i'm trying to make is like the new like after i felt after like listening to like the news stories the news for 30 minutes i felt like my heart was kind of pounding i had like anxiety all yeah. of a sudden like actual like anxiety i was just like like oh like i can't like i can't fall yeah. asleep now you know and just like almost like kind of sweating because yeah. like the slingshot thing was really funny and then it just like hits you like mass shooter like yeah. all these people just died in a grocery store and then my friend started talking about like like the we don't understand the true studies of blue lights from like your screen mm-hmm. like the fi- the physiological blue light studies of like what a screen can do to you and i'm like watching the news he's saying that and i'm like feeling the anxiety from what the news is saying and th- and what i'm saying this is like this is like that type of news that's on either side like whatever yeah. side you're on and i yeah. hate saying side i think everyone should be on the same side yeah. but um <clears throat> that like that that shit's like unbi that's just like news information that's yeah. not like the right side or the left side or whatever you know what i mean but he's saying that shit about the blue lights i'm hearing this crazy stuff happen on the news i'm like hi like like literally just oh my god like this is horrible yeah type thing and then i'm kind of putting two and two together and i'm like dude this is so related to just what people because i know people that watch the news every single day for like hours Mm -hmm. and i'm like this has something to do with fucking depression whether they know it or not listening to that negative stuff and i and and i looked at him and i was just like i guess this is fucking reality yeah which is sad yeah you know what i mean that has something to do i bet you i bet you this is kind of where that i said theory like a little earlier like 
my theory is the blue light from the screen and the news and being on your phone all day we don't understand the devastating effects from that and then being paired with this crazy negative information that no human should ever have to listen to right. because it's so like deep it's so hardcore it's so gruesome these mass shootings that feel like they happen every fucking day that like listening to that shit for hours on end which a ton of people i bet you tens of millions of people across the world listen to the news every single day Absolutely. for 15 minutes 30 minutes three hours you name it yeah i bet you that has something to do with uh, depression yeah a, a subconscious depression that absolutely you know what i mean like yeah. you don't understand those effects of like just listening to that shit it's it's like a form of brainwashing but like yeah. you see do you see what i'm saying absolutely okay. i totally agree with you okay it's incredibly toxic and it's you know i actually over the last couple of years have had this like really push pull with this exact topic because to me being educated is really important like i want to be aware of things and I don't ever want to be the type of person that just turns a blind eye to something because it's hard or, um, you know, my life would be easier by not paying attention to it. At the same time, you cannot ingest that all day, every day. Like, you can't. Like, it's just not psychologically healthy. Like, there's no way to not feel residual stress and anxiety and anger and you know, that kind of stuff with it. So it's all about finding balance. And I don't think most people even think about it. So they probably don't have much balance. Um, but there is so much negativity out there. So, so much negativity. And especially when you really get, you know, like you were saying, to one side or another, and you have really, really focused, like divisive messaging and you know, just sensationalized messaging. It's just designed to heighten you up. It's designed to get you worked up and angry and, you know, up in arms about something. 